today it's all up to JP France who can really right the ship with a great outing and he's a guy who has risen to expectations. He did it all last year as a rookie. He is looking forward to doing that today. So JP facing Marcus Simeon his last 19 games right here in this ballpark. He's hit a got a hit in every game a 19 game hitting streak on the ground. Third baseman is Greg Kessinger tonight. Kessinger makes the first play of the evening because of course he does in his first start he gets the first ground ball and it's a typical start to the year for Corey Seager average well over 300 a 392 on base he's swinging 3 0 and lines this one down that right field line and bangs it off the fence hustling around first going for two and has to dive in there he's safe and that is a hustle double for Seager who did himself the disservice of hitting the ball too hard. This is an absolute rocket off the bat of Corey Seager. Carter's numbers, it looks like maybe a little sophomore slump. Here's a bouncer right side, and it takes Altuve to his left. He throws out Carter two away. Well, you can hear the greeting for Dolis Garcia in the background, and he has become the number one villain for these Astros, and he serves one into right. That's a base hit. Another RBI for Garcia, and the Rangers take that first lead of the game. Well, you just have to wonder when Odolis shows up at this ballpark, he knows he's going to do some damage. So there will be two men on for Wyatt Langford. Langford hitting 240, no homers, six runs batted in. Grounds this one to third, Kessinger to his left, and the Astros get out of further trouble oh, in first. Dane Dunning throws a little bit of the kitchen sink up there at you. You know, he's got a fastball, a sinker, curveball, a split. Really good numbers for Altuve, and he hits this in the air out to right. That takes Garcia back near the wall and he'll make the catch. One away. And it brings up Jordan Alvarez and he lifts that a mile in the air out to right field. Eventually it'll come down. And it does. Garcia records a second out. So two out and nobody on for Kyle Tucker. Sitting 241, 313 on base percentage. Two homers and seven runs batted in. Oh, there's a homer. Tucker drives one deep to right center field and Baggy called it off the bat. That snaps an 0 for 11 for Tuck as he crushes one to tie it up at one. Get us right back on the board here after this scored one. It's big for Tuck, obviously. King Tuck with his third home run of the season. So here's a changeup right here. He got in the middle of the plate and Tuck did not miss it. Seeger had that double his first time up. Now the 3 0. And that's very high ball four. A couple of those pitches were really not competitive. Seeger walks on four straight. It's the first walk issued by France. And for Evan, the hits continue to be thin, but he also continues to reach base. And that's over short. That's going to be trouble. Drops down, base hit, and Seeger will stop at second. But a walk and a single by Carter. And the Rangers have a little something going. That gave the fans a moment or two to get their booze out on Adolis Garcia, who drove in the Rangers' run in the first. Seager at second, Carter at first, and that is off the plate, ball four. So they are loaded up. The last time he faced Josh Smith, he hit him on the back foot. Bases are loaded here. Payoff on the way. That's high. A bases loaded walk, third walk of the inning. And the Rangers retake the lead. It's two to one. They need length out of J.P. France. The Rangers are putting some pressure on him right here. Whoa. And that one to the backstop. And the runners will all retreat. And another one they got away from France. And France really shaky here in the third. And Langford batting with the bases loaded. Hits this ball in the air. Out to center. Left center. That one drops in. Base hit. And then it's bobbled. Here comes a second run. It was a late start from third by Garcia, but he'll score. Woo. A two-run blooper by Langford, and the Rangers lead 4-1. to one. What a clutch hit right here by the young right-handed hitter. And a base hit here would play two more. The infield has all come in. Time waiting on the 1-1. And here it is. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Jonah Heim. Yeah, touch them all. What a blast by Jonah. A three-run shot. And the Rangers lead it 7-1. to one. Boy, another changeup that J.P. France has to pay for. That one was crushed. That went 408 feet at 104 miles an hour. I don't know if that hit the facade of the second deck or just under it. For Marcus has not reached base. He's 0 for 2. And Simeon still looking for his first knock. There's a little dribbler to third. Kessinger with a bare hand and then throws it away. And Simeon heads for second. That ball loose down the line. And... Marcus will settle for second base. A hit, 
and an error. Rangers looking to add to a 7-1 lead. That's Marcus's first hit. Here's Cora, who has doubled, walked, and scored two runs. Seager with a soft flare. That one drops in left field. Semyon got a good start, but they will hold him at third. Carter grounded out in the first inning and singled in the third. 1-2. And Carter hits that one into right field. Base hit. Simeon scores. RBI single for Evan Carter. He drives in his fourth run of the year, and the Rangers on top 8-1. to one. The 3-1 pitch. He takes that's a foot outside. And low. The bases are loaded. Josh Smith is the batter. There's nobody out in the inning. That one's popped up. Jose Altuve with the bases loaded and nobody out gets the infield fly rule called. He puts it away for the first out. 2-2. Two, two. You have oh. got to be kidding me. What in the world? We've just completely lost it here. This is just bad. 0-2 oh, pitch called third strike. JP okay. works out of any go. further damage after the eighth run scores. So one run on two hits, three hits and a walk. 8-1 Rangers. And now first and third with one out, and Mauricio Dubon will back. Ground ball towards the middle, through oh, in the center field. Oh, Astro score a run to make it 8-2. Oh, oh. Mauricio Dubon with an RBI. Now Jake Myers the batter. Myers flied out to center field his first time up. Jake sends go. one through the middle. That'll be an RBI base hit. 8-3 to three game. There you go. Not trying to do too much. That's what you said. Take it through the middle, take it the other way. Greg Kessinger bats for the second time. Struck out his first time up. Great looking for his first hit of the season. Only five at bat so far. Ground ball, third base. There's a tag and the throw to first. In time, double play. Not as clean and acrobatic as you would think on a double play, but effective nonetheless. And the inning is done. Simeon started that last inning off with an infield hit from Kunal. A little punch shot into right center. Can anybody get there? Here comes Tucker. Sliding catch by Tuck for the final out of the inning. Heck of a play by Kyle Tucker. Bent leg slide. Got that just before it hit the grass. Inning over. Fans here paying their respects to Adolis Garcia. Two steps in. One for one with a couple of walks. RBI chance here for Adolis. And he hits this one into right field. A base hit. Carter around third. The ball's bobbled in right. And Garcia drives in another run against Houston. His second RBI of the ball game, and it's nine to three. The base is loaded, one out, one run in. Rangers up nine to three. Jonah already with a three-run home run tonight, one for three. And this one on the ground, second base. Altuve bobbled it, and he'll throw to first to get the one out. Rangers out another run. It's ten to three. On the second hop, it just jumps up, and Altuve can't come up with a clean. They get the out, but Jonah gets the RBI. So it's the third straight game now with the. Astros have allowed 10 or more runs. Walsh has not been a part of the offensive fun tonight. 0 for 3. Here's the payoff. And Walsh hits this one sharply into right field. Base hit. One run is in. They'll wave Langford. He scores without a throw. Walsh drives in a pair. And the Rangers have a dozen tonight. It's 12 to 3. So Jordan's on first base. And Burke faces another lefty now. And Tucker, I'm sure, is not digging in. First pitch and he cranks it right field and a bat flip. Second decker for Tucker, his second jack of the evening. Kyle Tucker doubles up his home run total on the season tonight with two home runs. Now he has four, matching Jordan Alvarez. Couple of men on the bases now for the Astros. Dubon, the batter, to face Grant Anderson, the righty. Hey, Dubon's got himself another RBI. Dubon with a two RBI night. That's now a 12 to 6 game as Singleton crosses the plate. Grant Anderson, the new pitcher, greeted with a first pitch base hit. Three runs in for the Astros. This one's pulled down the left field line. That's a base hit. Pena will score. Are they going to send Dubon? They won't. A double for Myers. Now he goes. He scores. 12 to 8. Well, what do we have here? Jake Myers with a hook into the corner. That is the second out of the inning, and the Astros are down to their final out. That is the second out of the inning, and the Astros are down to their final out. And they have Mauricio Dubon coming to the plate. A one two pitch. And that's in the air right field. Garcia angles over. And that'll do it. The Rangers take the opener in Houston. 12-8, the final score, and a convincing first game win.